Hi, I'm Tom Haywood. Today we're going to install a DirecTV 89KAKU 5LNB antenna using the Super Buddy meter. Step one is to mount your post plumb. While the antenna is still off, preset the vertical angle and the skew setting per DirecTV's instructions and then mount it on the post. The proper meter setup for the DirecTV Phase 4 AT9KAKU install is as follows. We'll push the System Soft key in the upper left corner. To select the service, we press Enter. We'll arrow up to the DirecTV setting and press Enter. And under the Select System screen, we see identified all the different settings available for DirecTV and we're going to down arrow to the Phase 4 AT9KA setting and then press Enter. And then to get to our normal run screen we can push Exit or Enter again and once we do that we can begin our DirecTV install. We'll now power the 101 LNB by pressing our LNB soft key and it shows that we're searching, have no lock status yet, signal quality value is zero IRD. So we slowly move the alignment of the antenna, the azimuth, and we are looking to get strong signal level on the left and we do and we get a signal quality of uh, we're bouncing up around 96 or 97 on the right bar graph our signal quality and we show a lock status indicating that we are uh, locked onto a satellite to verify that we're locked on the 101 I'm going to press the ID button and it comes back and confirms that positively we are locked on the 101 I hit the OK soft key to get back to the run mode and after making minor adjustments to the alignment we optimize it with a signal quality value of about 97. We'll now press the L and B button again, the soft key, and that powers the 110 and 119 satellite. Direct TV combines the 110 and the 119 um, into this setting. So when we choose LNB soft key number two, we're really powering the 110 and the 119. And what we can do to look at the 110 birds, we know that transponders 8, 10, and 12 are the 110 transponders. So with our arrow keys, we can look at transponder 8, which we are now, and that's coming off the 110 bird. I can arrow up to transponder 10 and confirm that we've got a good lock there and transponder 12 and we have a good lock there. Now as we continue to arrow up to other transponders that corresponds to the 119 satellite. So uh, we've got an excellent signal quality value and so our antenna alignment that we've made uh, appears to be very good for the 101 110 and 119 satellites. We'll now push the LNB soft key again to go to select the 99 degree satellite indicated in the upper left corner. And for the KA satellites uh, of 99 and 103, the Super Buddy does not obtain a signal lock. So the word search, it's normal for it to show there when we're on the 99 or the 103 setting. But it's still useful for us to look at the signal level. Using a one half inch socket or nut driver, we adjust the horizontal or azimuth fine adjustment screws and go through the dithering process per DirecTV's recommendation to obtain the centered maximum signal level. It looks as if minus 36.9 dBm is the strongest signal we're able to obtain. Next, we optimize our signal using the vertical fine adjustment screws to see if we can improve the signal strength. It appears that minus 36.9 dBm is our optimized level. Next, 
we push the LNB button to select the 103KA LNB. Like we did for the 99 degree satellite, we use DirecTV's procedure for optimizing and being centered on the 103 signal by using our horizontal fine adjustment screws and our dithering process. It appears that minus 40.3 dBm is the strongest level we can achieve. Next, we adjust the vertical fine adjustment screw to see if we can improve the level. It appears that the minus 40.3 dBm is the max signal we're able to receive. That concludes our DirecTV 89KAKU install.